misconception that Islam is a new religion which came into existence 1400 years ago. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the founder of this religion. In fact, Islam is there since time immemorial, since man set foot on this earth. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is not the founder of this religion, but he is the last and final messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of this religion Islam. <coughs> Many people think that Islam is only meant for the Arabs and the Muslims. And Quran was only revealed for the Arabs and the Muslims. Allah says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Bakra, chapter number 2, verse number 185, that Ramadan was the month in which the Quran was revealed as the guidance to humankind. That means the Quran was revealed for the whole of humankind. Due to shortage of time, I'll only give one reference instead of me five questions. Because the time is short and I'm trying to scratch at least four topics. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad was not sent only for the Muslims and the Arabs. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse 107, Allah says, that وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةِ الْعَالَمِينَ That we have sent thee as a mercy to all the creatures, to, the, to all the worlds, to the whole of humanity. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was not sent only for the Muslims or the Arabs, but he was sent for the whole of humanity. Allah says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Hujra, chapter number 49, verse number 13, يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسُ إِنَّا خَلَقْنَاكُمْ مِنْ زَكَنْ وَأُنْسَ وَجَلْنَاكُمْ that, O oh humankind, we have created you from a single pair of male and female and have divided you into nations and tribes so that you may recognize each other, not that you may despise each other. And the most honored in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the person who has taqwa, who has piety, who has God consciousness, who has righteousness. So here this verse of the Quran says that the whole humankind has come from one single pair of male and female. And Allah has divided us into nations and tribes, not that we may despise each other, so that we may replace each other. And Allah said the most honored is the person who has taqwa. The criteria for judgment in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not whether they are rich or poor, whether they are old or young, whether they are black or white, whether they are yellow or brown, with the king or proper, but the criteria for judgment in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is taqwa, it is God consciousness, it's piety. This is the beauty of Islam. That Islam is not only meant for the Muslims or the Arabs, it is meant for the whole of humanity. And the person who's highest in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the person who's righteous. It is not the person who's richest. It's the person who's pious. It is not the person who's white or black. And Allah says in the Quran, Quran, in Surah Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 70, Allah says, وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَ مَنِي آدَمْ That Allah has honored all the children of Adam. That means all the children of Adam, whether they are black or white, yellow or brown, rich or poor, whether they live in America or in Saudi Arabia, or in Qatar, or in India or Pakistan, Allah has honored all the Bani Adam. Irrespective which your part of the world you come from. So this is the beauty of Islam that Islam is for the whole of humanity. It's meant for every human being on the face of the earth. There are many ways of life or religions, and most of these religions, they speak good things. So what is the difference between Islam and the other religions? The difference between Islam and the other religion is that Islam besides speaking good points, shows you a way how to achieve these good points. The beauty of Islam is, besides speaking good things, it shows you a way how to achieve these good things. For each topic, I've got separate lectures. I'll just give you a couple of examples. That all religions, they say, that you should not rob. Hindu says that, Christianity says that, Muslim says that, Islam says the same. So what is the difference between Islam and the other religions? The difference between Islam and the other religion is Islam shows you a way how to achieve the state where people will not wrong. 
the third pillar of Islam is that every rich person who has a saving of more than the Nisab level, more than 85 grams of gold, he or she should give 2.5% of that excess wealth in charity every lunar year. Zakat is compulsory on every rich person who has a saving of more than 2.5%, who has a saving of more than Nisab level, he should give 2.5% every year. <coughs> if, every, if every rich human being in this world gives Zakat, poverty will be eradicated from this world. <coughs> after that, Allah says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 38, after the thief, be it a man or a woman, chop off his or her hand. Many non Muslims say Islam is a barbaric religion. Chopping off the hands in this, time, in this age of science and technology? But if you implement, you know, today, one of the highest rate of crimes anywhere in the world, it's in USA. Supposed to be one of the most advanced countries in the world, but if you see the rate of crime, it is one of the highest in the world. I'm asking a simple question that if you implement the Islamic Sharia in USA, that every rich person who has a saving of more than the Nisab level, more than 85 grams of gold, he or she gives 2.5% of that excess wealth in charity. And after that, if any person drops, chop off his or her hand, I'm asking the question will the rate of crime, theft, robbery, in USA, will it increase? Will it remain the same or will it decrease? Decrease. It's a practical law. <laughs> you implement the Sharia and you get results. That is the reason the least rate of theft and robbery anywhere in the world is with Saudi Arabia. Okay. If you relax this law, even crime will increase. They're not that the Saudi police are very intelligent, but the Sharia laws are so good. You implement anywhere in the world, you will find results. Time will not permit me to give other examples. We can refer to my cassettes on these topics. So the beauty of Islam is that it is for the whole of humanity and it shows you a way how to achieve 